Creatives nowadays have a multitude of platforms to display their work. YouTube and Vimeo is where most video creators display their work. Graphic designers use a platform like Behance and photographers could not live without Instagram. But what happens when those platforms are no longer there? It's always a good idea to have a full control of your portfolio and content and a website of your own is the best place to store all of it. This video will give you easy steps to set up your own website in 10 minutes or less. Let's try to navigate these steps together. Like, subscribe, let's do this. In this video, I'll use WordPress as a platform to build a basic website. WordPress doesn't cost a dime to download or install, and there's a huge community who have designed beautiful themes and templates, making it easy to get going fast. You'll never run out of uniqueness. WordPress can be expanded with free plugins to handle just about any site you can imagine, from gorgeous business pages to social networking sites. With plugins, you'll be able to add contact forms, submission forms, uh, subscriptions, image galleries, and so on for your website. The process is very simple. The last thing I'd like to note is that this process can be applied to websites both small and large, and it will make a website responsive to all devices. This website will look great on every mobile device, smartphone, and tablet. No need to hire a web developer for that. Step one, choose your domain name and hosting. To get a new website online, you're going to need two things. A domain name, which is a, a web address like yourwebsite.com and hosting, which is a service that connects your website to the internet. The WordPress platform itself is free, but a domain name and hosting will cost you around three to $5 a month. However, it costs less than a cup of coffee, so it won't break the bank. Owning your own domain name looks a lot more professional than having your site on someone else's domain, like yourbusiness.myfreewebsite.com. And it's super affordable too. Plus, having your own hosting will also make sure your website loads quickly and won't go down for hours at a time. It's pretty important for anyone who visits your pages. So where do you get your domain name and hosting? I personally use GoDaddy for all my domain name purchases and hosting services. They have good customer service and they're one of the biggest companies in the world to do this. Bluehost is also a great company and they always have promotions for first time buyers. Do your research and decide which company you wanna partner with. Domain buying tip. If you're making a website for your business, your domain name should match your company name. Same thing applies if you're trying to make a website for yourself. Got your domain name and hosting? Great, let's continue. Step two, install WordPress. Almost every reliable and well-established hosting company has integrated one-click installation for WordPress, which makes getting going a snap. It's best to call your hosting company and ask them where to locate the one-click installation for WordPress. Once you've found it, follow their steps in order to install WordPress. These steps are usually typically the same. Log into your hosting account, go to your control panel, look for the WordPress or website icon, click the install now button and you will get access to your new WordPress website. Once you've successfully installed WordPress to your domain, we'll see a very basic yet clean website. The theme is basic. The next step will help you choose a website theme. Step three, find a theme you like. This is what the WordPress dashboard looks like. Everything is easily labeled. If you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, don't sweat it. I'm going to show you where to go next. Once you're in the dashboard, you've got access to over 1,500 free themes. Just look along the sidebar for appearance, then click themes. If you want something more professional or elegant than what you find here, you can head over to themeforce.net where there's a huge library of themes to pick from at varying costs. They also offer a free theme every month with a simple email signup. Another great option is buying a one-time subscription to Elegant Themes. Elegant Themes has a variety of themes and right now it's offering a one-time payment for a lifetime subscription of only $249. Once you have found a theme you like, installing it is as simple as clicking install followed by activate. Step four, adding demo content. The best part about buying a professional theme instead of activating a free option is demo content. Demo content is typically offered for most recently designed themes. It typically includes page build, design options, and even page images. 
Demo content is meant to be edited, but it gives you a basic guide on how to design your website based on the industry. Theme Forest's B theme or Elegant Themes Divi are both great choices for themes and demo content. Whichever theme you choose, make sure it has an option to install demo content. Demo content is very easy to install and every theme includes documentation that should include simple instructions on installation. Creating a new page. Look along the sidebar in the WordPress dashboard for pages, add new. Once you've clicked, you'll find a screen that looks a lot like you've seen maybe in Microsoft Word. Add text, images, and more to build that page you want. Then click publish when done. Adding pages to the menu. Click appearance, menus in the sidebar of the WordPress dashboard. Find the page you created and add it to the list by clicking the checkbox next to it and then add to menu. Time for a quick break? I think so. Drink a cup of coffee, some water perhaps, your choice. <sighs> Step five, customization and endless tweaks. Number one, changing your website title and tag. Go to settings, general, and fill in the form. Number two, disabling comments for posts and pages. Go to settings, discussion, and untick allow people to post comments on new articles. Number three, setting up a static front page. Some people contact me saying they're frustrated that their homepage looks like a blog post. You can fix that by making your homepage static. To do this, go to settings, reading, and choose a static page that you have created. Front page, the notes, your homepage, post page in the front page of your blog. If your entire site isn't a blog. Number four, editing sidebar and widgets. Go to appearances, widgets in the dashboard. You'll be able to drag different boxes into the sidebar section of your website pages. Also, the footer or bottom section of the site is typically edited in this same section. Congratulations, you're ready to launch your website. That's it. If you follow the steps in this guide, you should have a fully functional WordPress website. That wasn't so bad, was it? Please contact me with any specific questions or if you get stuck in one of these steps. Most of this information is pulled from a helpful guide called Website Setup. They have a lot more details in case you need more customization. We're done. We're continuing to navigate what it means to tell our story and reach the masses. Join me on this journey to learn the power of storytelling to drive success, growth, and influence. See you next week.